That it's ominous ominous. music can only mean there's a drug reference. I feel like I'm in a cartoon. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. In the land of Starfire, we'll treat you right. Dave, this is Fusion Genesis. Fusion Genesis. Yeah. Uh, it's Two words I think together all the time. Yeah, totally. Uh, and this is an Xbox Live arcade game. It's been out for a little bit. <clears throat> And it is a top-down dual joystick shooter, and it is also kind of a space sim trading outpost thing. That's why I'm here. Yeah, because that's what I wanted to know exactly. about. Exactly. So I don't care about that top-down shooter part. That part seems well, okay. Here's here's my level 11 pilot. We're gonna we're gonna launch him. Is in he an here. alien? I could terminate him. Uh, you know, you don't you don't pick a race or anything like that. I don't know. It, it opens with a. You know, you going and getting a ship for a professor, and then the professor doesn't make it out when the evil syndicate shows up. To Wait, blow it's up a the... professor, so it's got to be like some new type of ship. Yeah, yeah, it's right? a prototype yeah, ship. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, you have the prototype sentient, which is like a Fantasy Star Online mag, in that it hangs out by your ship, you know, kind of attacks enemies here and there, and it levels up independently because you have to feed it crystals. You have to feed like every ship crystals. <laughs> yeah, that's what Star Trek's taught. Yeah, about. that's true. But this is like some kind of AI dude that doesn't actually talk at you, but uh, you know, is, he will he will help out in combat and in mining also. That's how you know it's a uh, space trading game. There's mining. It's and the it, only it, real profession yeah, in the you know exactly. in the future, and it deals in future. tonnage. Yeah. So you're getting tons of food, yeah. tons of radioactive materials. Uh, so here's my ship. I am part of the consortium. There's six factions in the game, uh, I believe. Sound that six sounds like the right number. Uh, but yeah, you know, just straight up trading post where we can we can deal in ore and food. Um, and then this this trading post does not have any weapons or sentience. But then it also has like this whole online side. So it's PvP gear, war zone gear, and raid gear uh, that you get. And you see up up there at the top, I have different currencies for you know my PvP currency and war zone and and the two different raids, uh, which is for this. For this game, it seems kind of nuts right out of the gate. So you, you've you got two different types of raids? Yeah. Of course, That's... of course. All right. I've got Legion raids and Ark raids. I don't even know what that is. All right. I don't even know what either of those are yet. Um, but your ship already reminds me of subspace, so this game <laughs> is... Or Continuum, I think, as some people might know. Right, yes. Now, yeah. now referred to as Continuum. There are no ships for sale here either. Yeah. Um, so let's get out into, well, let's, uh, do we have any missions here? No, this is just the mission that'll let you switch factions Looks if you like. Looks like Han Solo. Yeah. But his name's Judah. Oh, okay. Uh, so th there's a lot of text in the game, a lot of menus and stuff that, you know, things aren't necessarily explained super well, and, and some of the text layout on the menus is kind of busted. Um, all right, so here we are, Alpha Station. We can call up this map, get a map of the sector. Oh, wow. And then there's a galaxy map in addition, so showing you the different zones. So you're just in one zone when you're in that. that yeah, this is view? just this is just one zone here. It's like a little maze. Yeah. A space maze. So when you get to the walls or the walls. No, it's a wall. It's a wall. When we get to the mall. When we get to the walls. It's an actual wall. Oh, it's it's, it's rock. It's like rock wall. Yeah. Oh, okay. So right stick, I can just shoot. Um, but I don't want to shoot the rocks. The same asteroids. I want to get up close and mine. Now, do you build up your your ship towards like different goals? Like, are you a mining ship or are you a uh, shooty ship? So or? this is a, is a scout based ship that mines faster than the other ships, I believe. Okay. Um, and so you see there, I'm, I'm picking up tons of ore down there. You may have also seen that someone joins the game or left the game there. Clockwork Crayon is left. Yeah. So this game has sort of an automatic. Um, What's going to be... Where am I going to find that stuff? Uh, social. Here we go. So, no, no. I don't want my friends list. That's... I may, I've made a mistake. Uh, so we can kind of set whether we want player versus player, who we want to be able to join the game. Do we ever auto-decline stuff? So there's a player in the zone you see over there. And you'll just see, like, you know, 12 players join all at once. And, and theoretically, you know, they're in the world with you. And you can group up with them and interact and stuff. Is it PvP by default? No, I t you have to turn it on. So you flag yourself. Yeah. Um, I can scan ships. Uh, that's useful in some missions, but doesn't necessarily... But all these other little ships, they, they just start, have to Press like, start special missions, world. join Legion Raid. What? Do it. Oh, man. 
Okay, so this is this old. This is like an instance, I guess, from the sounds of it. Right. Defend a space station from an evading fleet of the Dark Legion. Random zone. Maybe I should have picked this starting zone I was in because it might be harder. Have you tried this before? I have not. Raids are tough, man. Yeah. I play games with raids. Do you bring in enough potions? I have no potions. You have no potions. My sentient, if I push up on the D-pad, he will he will boost my shield. Do you bring a healer? Uh, so the sentients actually have roles. There's a tank healer. There's a tank a tank sentient. And the sentient's just the little, the little dude. guy that's yeah. following you. And so you have a mining one, which I, I have. It's a tank sentient. Okay. Uh, the ship is is I guess kind okay. of mining. Which is perfect for a raid, I would say. Yeah. Um, but then there are also DPS sentients and healer sentients. So they've they've kind of built the trinity right. in this game. So you've got a, it looks like there's gonna be an attack and there's some turrets and you gotta repair the turrets. Yeah. That's, is that what's happening here or are we mining? Oh, you're mining. Is my sentient just like, hey man, we're mining. Yeah. Fleet, fleet of fighters inbound at the station. Okay, why don't we get different? Okay, here we go, three supply points. I like the look of this game. Yeah. It looks like I miss sort of that old subspace style games. I, I used to love those. Mm -hmm. uh, so like this, the kind of, you know, it's a 2D world, but it's got like that depth behind it, uh, which looks kind of neat. I'd be worried, like you have a tiny ship, right? Yeah. Can you zoom out at all? Like no. what happens if you get like one of the giant guys? Uh, so you can have a giant guy that will fill up uh, more of, of the screen. Go, mm -hmm. wait. You see any spots on the map that it looks like I should I see be going? some red spots. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's down there, right? Yeah. Here we go. Now, are these green ones you think are those other players? No, I think the green ones are AI, AI dudes. Um, but anybody could a... join this essentially if they I, want. I think so. Yeah, that's 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 what I've been led to believe. How much of the game is just you know one big sham and how much of it is really happening online i can't tell yet oh, so these are those turrets so if i get in this circle can i repair them is that just now I, it's hard for me to tell which one of these are actually your shields is it that green marker or the 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 sort of orange um one? i think it's the this the blue maybe the blue one yeah and then, and then the, the green is hull okay There you go. So you have to trigger that, or you just had to. No, get that was that was me triggering the up on the D-pad thing, and I, I don't think it actually repaired the turret at all. I haven't died yet in this game, so maybe we'll find. So it. Oh, geez, it? that's a larger ship. They've got uh, the the sort of design of these bad guys kind of reminds me of like Babylon Five. Mm. Oh, dude. Uh, so there was a mission where I was. Uh, Oh, I'm, You're totally I'm, dead. I'm going You're down. Dead. Pushing up on the D-pad, pushing... Okay, so you, you get immobilized before you die, it looks like? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I like the zoom in. <laughs> so do we respawn in this area, or are we back to... Looks like you're back in the area. Yeah, because that was just the starter area, but uh, but it looks like... Okay, I'm still... Just wondering if I was still in, the, in this kind of instance version of it. But generally through the game, I mean, like outside of this raid instance type stuff, you're mostly moving around the world, like picking up, picking up cargo. Goods. There, there are a bunch of escort missions. Um, are you working your way up? Like, have you? Have yeah. You had a so ship I'm, in I'm, sight? I'm gaining levels as a player. My sentient is gaining levels, and then also I'm gaining levels with my current faction. Uh, so I'm kind of leveling up with the consortium by performing uh, consortium tasks. Oh man, that one's shooting me too. Oh, oh man. Oh god. Dude. I think you're in trouble. I leveled. <laughs> oh, it didn't refill you. My, my sentient did. It looks like it, it refilled the shields, but they just didn't last. I love that. I love when you level in a game and it, it saves you. you right back yeah. up and you're like, way to go, Dallas. So it's you know, like it I feel like it hasn't explained to me how if I can even repair these turrets. Um and that's that's a little troubling. Well it seems like they're mostly dead anyway. I gotta get out of there. They're shooting me. There's still there's still beams c coming in the direction of my ship. That's bad, right? I'm blowing up. That's bad, right? I like your, I like your uh, your dodge there. 
Uh, was... There are different abilities. So this this up on the D-pad ability I have is the one that uh, is... There we go. Die. But so you can get multiple of them and map them to... Yeah, uh... you map them to the to different directions on the D-pad, and then... Oops. Oh. Did I dock? I docked. Do I anything here? Sell off this ore. Ore seller. But is this still going to be happening when I come out here? Am I? No, I think it's done. I got I got plus two legion raid points there, so maybe that's it. Oh, wait, it still says a turret has been repaired. Oh. Oh, it's, wait, it started again. Maybe. Okay, I'm I'm gonna actually yeah, I'm, I'm gonna exit go out so it. we can show some of the other stuff. Uh, that that stuff seems a little confusing. Um, the game throws a lot of information at you all at once, and it's... And it definitely looked like you shouldn't have been in there without other people. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was hoping it was going to match me up with other people. Um, so I actually uh, was was at the controls of that ship in, a, in an earlier mission. Um, not It wasn't moving. It was just sort of a... Um, the tank. Yeah, yeah. You're just, you're just sort of like fighting Shooting off stuff. incoming dudes. Oh, I can assign some skill points here. Because you leveled up. Yeah. Um, so, where's that? Skills. There Skills. <clears throat> so I have ten base points. Oh, I have one one point to spend here. Being death. So yeah. So as as being part of the consortium, I get access to these skills. But then there are also your base skills. So it's basically whether or not you want to go as a trader, pick up your cargo, pick up your harvest, or yeah. you go for, you know, your rolls and your damage. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and harvest is passive, so that, that seems pretty good. Bane death, I don't know, that doesn't that doesn't sound great. More cargo per ship sounds pretty good though. Oh, I don't know. Increased afterburner speed. You know what? After getting ripped up so bad defense? back there, defense seems right. like it's probably the right choice. It wins championships, Joe. Really? All right. I'm in. So I have a lot more of these to spend. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so let's get some more damage. I, I was running out of energy there pretty, pretty frequently. Let's get a little more afterburner. Let's harvest. Let's get a little more cargo. So you did get... Oh, no, I only have one faction point, so I can only well, spend you got one the, here. I assume you got that for doing that raid. It said it gave you some. Uh, I might have just had it laying around from, oh. from previous stuff. It's hard to it's hard to say. I have not done a lot of uh, upgrade stuff just yeah, yet. Yeah, three so. more. Put it in. Yeah. Round it out. Oh, man. No, we're, we're going... Look at you. Now you're tanking now it up. Now we're tanking it up. Getting tanked. Uh, okay, so we can back out of this. Uh, then we can go into our sentient area here and you see I have it set to auto feed so you'll you'll find crystals and it'll just kind of automatically feed the, the crystals to stuff here uh, I actually have some attribute points here to spend on my sentient as well uh, you know more whole strength might be pretty good uh, I like speed though yeah let's get a couple more percents of speed but it it increases your speed as well I believe so. that, that, that seems right let's see let's see what happens when you fly around I only increased it by like 2%, so it's kind of hard to... Oh, that, that, that seems a little peppier, actually. All right, let's head down to the other friendly area and get some regular solo missions here. Red and Neocorp. Shooting it up. I just so, like to hit the scan button. What does scanning a ship do? I don't know. Nothing. It makes the scan button go away. Uh, there are some missions where you have to you go have to scan, scan stuff, uh, so I imagine it's, it's primarily sense. for that. Uh, but it doesn't, you know, you're not conning the enemy or anything like that. <clears throat> so here in this other trading post, we can see some more of the uh, items and stuff. So, you know, different weapons to equip. Uh, you can forego the sentient in favor of two weapons if you like. Um, and then, you know, get some, some sentients. I don't know not really certain what the difference is there between them and you can buy commodities if you want to try to get into moving stuff around and then you can see some of the some of the pvp and, and other 
So what do you feel right now? You feel him as a, a you just a trader? You're just a guy out there. You're, I don't know. Like you're I'm all alone in space. I'm pretty decent at dual joystick shooters, so I mm -hmm. feel like I could handle the combat side of things mm -hmm. if need be. Um, so, but yeah, you know, I, I want to get some money up so I can afford some of this. So the reward uh, some weapons other gear. on the PvP, I would assume, go up there and. Yeah, this is the PvP stuff, and you know, these are all colored differently than. So you probably can't equip here. them. You get them by killing other dudes yeah. and earning you, a currency. Yeah, you earn P a PvP yeah. currency. So you see, I have two Legion raid points from what we did uh, in that siege earlier. This feels pretty ambitious for yeah. a. Uh, yeah, totally. A so it has an auction house for sentience. How crazy is that? How crazy is this? It feels like a little mini MMO. Yeah. Uh, so there's also a Windows Phone 7 app called Fusion Sentient where you can. Because this was done by Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft published it. Okay. Yeah, um, but it was the Starfire Studios guys made it, uh, and and yeah. So there's there's some kind of tie in there. I, I don't really know too much about that, but I, I think you can level up your sentience on your phone and bring them back into the game. Perfect. And and then theoretically, you know, auction them off or something if you, if you really want it's to. Like a little pet. Yeah, basically. Um, Pick up a mission. Okay. Well, let me show you one more thing here. So if if you really want your your mind blown here. Credits. Four dudes. Is that fun to see? Four dudes. Ambitious game. Chris. One, one. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. Chris Tilston. Not Chris Tilston. Not Chris Tilston. Not Chris Tilston. Chris Tilston. This is Alias. I, want to see it how, looks I kind of want to see how far this goes. It's okay. a good looking okay. game. Okay, so then you end up in, in producers and stuff. But Starfire Studios appears to be somewhere between three and five dudes. Let's get a mission. Uh, so story missions are going to come from your your main guy in each area. He doesn't have one for me yet. Preacher. Um, so preacher has uh, will have like group missions and stuff like that, uh, and and he'll constantly have nine missions for you from from what I can tell. And I can actually tab through to get harder missions if I want uh, you know better uh, you know better rewards, or I can go easier. You know, escort a convoy. That escort missions. No thanks. Uh, go find some used escape pods. That sounds good. Let's do that. All right. <clears throat> so you can only have one mission at a time. Now, if I if I go over to her, she's like, screw off. Can't have multiple missions. Uh, which is, is but you can cancel them. Yeah, yeah. Out here, I would assume. So this is spawning a a point for me to get to the the zone that I need need to be in. Whoa. How are you able to see where that was? Just because it's that little gray the, the arrow the around. You see that arrow oh, yeah, around? I got you. Yeah, I see. That, that'll always guide you in the direction of your next mission objective. <clears throat> I've never been here before. Well, it's known for the electromagnetic burst that affects ships of all kinds, rendering them helpless in space. That sounds bad. It's trouble. Nebulous. Always trouble. It's where yeah. people go to hide. Uncharted in stores now. I can mine while we're here too. Uh, is there any difference on like the different types of like do you pick up different types of stuff depending upon the asteroid? Uh, I'm not sure. There, there are different. There are different things you'll get out of an asteroid. You'll get radioactive materials. You'll just get raw ore. Uh, you'll get some of those power ups will pop up there. You see that was a. Mm -hmm. uh, so there I got some yellow crystal and I got a weak delayed harvester, which there are two slots on your ship you can equip stuff like that. Um, to to kind of augment various stats. Oh, Sun Shadow Syndicate trying to jump me. Oh, and I can't move. Whoa. Yeah, like a a tractor beam or something. The sentient's really useful because it'll shoot at stuff that's off screen. Kind of give you a, a yeah, indicator an of, of where where, coming from. where stuff's coming from. What? That's my little shield boost ability. Oh, just, so just that kinda, just brings it back up. Just popping that to make sure I'm. I'm Is safe. that something like you had to pick? Uh, it's it's kind of the first ability you get in the game. Okay. Shouldn't be mining. I yeah, be... I was gonna say like you. I just want stuff. You totally man. live in this world already. Need things. Oh, getting jumped again. You also see uh, on that outer ring around my ship, it'll it'll show me where the threats are. Yeah. Which is a uh, you know it's a relatively elegant way to handle it, I think. 
Uh, die. We're doing all right. We're gonna handle these dudes. It does seem like you just moved out. Like, so it does zoom out a little bit. Yeah. When you're fighting. Okay, so I picked up a uh, used escape pod there. Um, Gross. they're they're really small. Gross. <clears throat> yeah. There's one. All right. Uh, there wasn't one there, I guess. Cause I still only have one. And you can't see anything here because it's uncharted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. It did count that other one. That was pretty easy. Yeah. It was on the easy tier, so. I like the music. Yeah. It gives it's me, good. like, the good little sort of TV space opera. Yes. Not like a movie yeah. space opera, but very much, you know, like the hero just walked in, you know? <laughs> yeah. I like the look of this rock. I want to see what's inside it. Yeah. And then apparently. we'll fly back. Uh, anytime I played Eve, I was always a uh, minor. Yeah. I just love sitting there. It's just just breaking uh, big rocks into small rocks. Just mining. Like a prisoner. Yeah, I think this game's kind of cool. It, it's hard to get a grasp on all its systems and, and how the online works uh, specifically. Um, yeah, because they just kind of, it seems like they just kind of come into the zone, but you don't really know where yeah. or, or anything. Yeah. Okay, so we completed that. Ew. Just gonna clean the pods out and sell them. That's... And then we can go right back to him. He has nine missions at all times. What's um, Melinda got for us? Uh, test a device that will monitor ore levels in a region. We've loaded the ore monitor aboard a transport ship to provide an escort. So it's an escort mission. Let's do it. All well, right. I know you, everybody hates escorts, but I kind of want to see what Belinda's got for us. Okay. Let's sell this ore. <laughs> I mean, we're you, here. Is there any sort of crafting system? Can I, like, take the ore and make something out of it? It doesn't seem like it. Uh, nothing that I've seen so far. Uh, and I assume that ore prices are different. I would hope so, because otherwise, why at? would you be able to buy it? That'd, that'd be yeah. that'd be kind of silly. I have enough for the C three Hawkeye. I don't, oh, I also C2 have enough for, Hawkeye, man. for the, the, the for the Mark three railgun, which oh. is which is what I have now. But spike beam. What is the Hawkeye? Oh, so scaled it'll be down. scaled down because my ship can't handle it. Oh. Um. You buy ships here? Yeah. Show me some ships. All right. I want to see what we could get. What are we looking at in the future? Like they're little people. So I need consortium level five to buy a spider three. I'm in a spider two right now. And how much is it? Can we not buy one of these? No, because it's I'm not of the right level. Uh, it's, also, buy, it's also twenty thousand. Can we buy a hammerhead if we want? Them? Yeah, but that I don't. That'd be that'd be a waste of credits. I don't know. What's I'm I just, worried what, about my credits? What's it, yeah, well, it's a interceptor. You're a. Interceptor. This is a high defense interceptor. So you know that you kind of oh, see that the roles boat. that these. That's kind of sexy. That tugboat up there. But it's also a one. I need a two for the weapon that I've got, or else oh. it's going to scale down my weapon. All right, so you're saving your money. Yeah. You're playing it like a playing like it like I'm game. really playing it. Yeah. I'm playing right. it like I'm really playing it. All right, that's good. That means hey, that's good. That, Means you're having fun with it. Yeah. You're gonna play it after this. I'm I'm I probably will. Yeah. Um and then you can outfit the ship. You see here we can have you color uh, it. I'd be like, I don't like this really. Color the ship? No, it doesn't look yeah. like you can color it. But I, this is a faction specific ship, so I think if you joined another faction, you would get access to different ships. Gotcha. They say there are over a hundred ships. Alright, let's go escort. So here's my spider one versus spider two. Um I'm gonna buy that uh, that railgun Mark III though. I hope it scales up. It will when, scale when down to the ship, but, but I hope it scales up when you switch your ship. Oh yeah, it it, it, it does. Oh, uh, that's Because I, I, that happened to me when I went from the Spider One. Well, to the then spider at least two, you can so. buy stuff ahead of time. Yeah, though. yeah. Um. Why is it not highlighting? Okay, there we go. 11,571 credits. I'm surprised that they used the word credits. Yeah. Why did they not Why make they up? Why use creds? Yeah, you, could, like you creds. could make up your own thing. Yeah. Okay, so we have the uh, the Mark III equipped. Equip uh, I hope it looks different. It might be three shots instead of two. Because the, the Mark II was, was two, ships, the two shots instead of one. All right, we took on that mission, right? Yes. Okay. 
Oh, that's and now it's giving me a specific oh. ship. Damn it. Well, I mean, it looks like your kind of ship. Looks kind of like my ship. That's so you got to escort this guy, and you can fly over him, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I've tried this mission before and failed it. Uh, for viewers at home, Jeff is now sitting just a little bit up in his seat. I want to be able to, you know, I need to, be able to see all this action. I get closer to it. It does seem like there's some hitches every once in a while. Yeah. Like it, it'll get stuck on a frame or two. So I have no sentient, so I have no abilities here. Instead, I have two of those Mark 1s equipped. So is this fairly common? Like, how often have you been given, like, a ship of your own? Uh, these early missions, this is this is still, you know, a couple hours in. So it seems common. like It seems like yeah. it's been pretty common early on. Uh, partially, it seems like they want you to try different stuff. Sure, yeah, because you uh, got to see, like, what you actually like doing. Yeah. Are there any mining missions? Uh, yeah, there have been missions to just go out and get specific ore from an area, or... And there's challenges you see I'm completing along the way. See, there's Asteroid Challenge 2 completed, probably for just blowing up a bunch of asteroids. So I'm kind of getting XP bonuses just for, for and doing And those stuff. challenges are outside the missions, it looks yeah, like. Those yeah. are just sort of like kind of almost achievement things. Right, yet. exactly, yes. Oh. Oh, is that bad? That's bad. No, okay. No. Is that... Oh, that's bad. You're not doing very good? I, he looks like he's blown up. Yeah, he's blown up. He blew up. How's that? That's tough. That looked really tough. It I looked know. like you were doing all I know. right. I know. Let's get out here with uh, right, this, this with Mark you, III. Is that happening because you can't see the guys before they come to you? Because that's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, here. it looks like, yeah. Because they start shooting at them yeah. before they get there, but it looks like they shoot back. You have, unless I don't know, like maybe I need to at stare at the radar a little more and, and just fly out to their area. So do you get to retry? Or yeah, you, exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's the second time I tried that mission. I, I can kind of just do it again and again. Can we quit it, just pick something else up? Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't have it anymore, so. Oh. Pick uh, something else up. Let's okay. see what we got. See all the different types. Want to pick up some bear pelts. I flew past the spot yeah. where the docking yeah. animation starts. Yeah. Like, whoa, 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 buddy. Okay. Come on now. Some investigative work. Track him down and follow him, see what he's up to. We'll observe Clayton in Dreamwake. What do you say? Sure. I feel space trading games in general mm -hmm. are always a little bit complex. Outside of maybe like the freelancer style games. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you played any of the, the that X3 series. No, I, I always thought about playing them, but I, I never did. Intense, yeah. that's all I'll say. It's very, very hard to know what you're going on uh, there. Well, I mean, I feel like those games kind of have to be complicated because, I mean, they have to implement like economic systems yeah. and stuff, you know? It's not just. Keep your shields up and shoot guys. But they always have, you know, these types of games always have such a big payoff because you can, you know, you can get those big level ships sort of at the end of the game. Yeah. I do like the, the, the music is fun to me. Oh, God! Syndicate guys are everywhere. Oh! You need to get whatever that. I'm level 13 now. Uh, I need to get the tractor beam. That's more useful than I gave it credit for. So did those mission things actually show a, uh, like, oh, this is going to be a hard mission? It was just, they yeah, look like Yeah, yeah, this, little... this is on the easy tier. Okay. Um, I, I could have tabbed through to find other stuff. Right, we need to find Clayton. Observe him. It's a good space miner name. That's him. Him. Oh, no. Oh, you got too close. Did I get too close, yeah, or, or did it hitting the scanning button no, blow it? No, it said you got too close. Okay. He knows he's been tailed. Oh. I think you just need to observe him. There's no scanning needed. Yeah. I wonder if we can take that one again, because I think I think Preacher randomly generates missions. Yeah, he doesn't have that anymore. But actually, I mean, literally, if I go through these tiers, they randomize every You'll time. You get something? Yeah. Lost cargo turrets. Is that where you're just sitting there and you're the turret? Mm, 
acquire cargo crates. No. It has nothing that's, to that's, do with that's turrets. Let's go get stuff that just happened to be turrets. We're just getting turrets. Another mayday. Let's protect a guy. There can never be another Destroy mayday. two syndicate ships. Just two? Yeah. You can do that. I can do that. Go do that. Oh, uh, there's a story mission available, though. Can you get that now? No, because he's. I have, I have something else. I can go cancel it oh. if you want to do yeah, the story mission. Yeah, cancel it. Let's do story. I want to... Let's see if there's... Does it have, like, any sort of little cutscenes or something when the story one's not, happening? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Something buried in the prototypes activated and made our ships start attacking each other. I need you to upload it to each malfunctioning ship. Okay. This is a little bit of a, I mean, it's not that the Star Trek one is not a reference to, you know, Romans, but got Romulus and Remus there. Yep. Artificial construct. Semi-sentient robots. The long lost. How, are, how can you be semi-sentient? Like, kind of, either you are or you aren't. Right? I don't know. What's, I guess data was. Sentient. Yeah. Hidden code. Oh, man. Get close and transmit an override code. I wonder if that means they're going to be firing upon me as soon as that I get scanning? close. Do not return fire. Man. So you just need to go and scan them? Maybe. Or maybe I just need to be near them. Be close. Let's find out. Now, the story ones, I assume you can keep doing over and over. Yeah, yeah. There, there's That there doesn't look like there's any sort of permanent uh, failure there. I don't know. All right, well. Yes, uh, I guess Blew my sentient that decided tower. that needed to be blown up. Oh, there we have, is. We have a map for this one. Okay. It's that yellow guy. Oh. Don't fire! Don't fire! No, I don't, I don't think that's one of my guys. I think these are... But it's pointing at him. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. You're right. I'll deploy. All right. Your lifesaver. That's the other one? They're that close to each other? Well, there's ten of them. Oh. So that was just happening when you were there. You want to mine? No. Hey, Jeff, you want to mine? My, my sentient decided to start mining oh. for me because I stopped. Uh, I stopped to let my shields recharge a little bit. And my robot buddy said, let's just... Uh, what? Why don't we get some stuff here, buddy? Like, who am I to deny you stuff? My little AI friend. Get some things. Yeah. Well, look at those little missiles trailing you. Why is it disabled? What's, uh, what? Oh, there we go. I was silenced. Not cast spells. Uh, yeah, there's little missiles, and, and you'll see like little fighter jets, like like mm -hmm. tiny, tiny, tiny uh, ships that will uh, will kind of dog you. Like Star Control. Yeah, reminded right? me of Star Control too. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm disabled again. I gotta. I wonder how you're supposed to shake those missiles. Yeah, I mean, I get afterburner out of the way. Oh, not scan. Boy. All right. So does the story seem like it has any sort of cohesion? Not, not so far. Uh, this is this is still. So pretty you said early you picked on, a so. faction. Was that? But it seems like at any beginning? point I can just drop my faction oh. and and pick up one of the other ones. But the story stuff is tied to the faction. Uh, there there are faction storylines, and then there is a main storyline. Okay. Line. The stuff I'm getting from like Romulus and. And his brother are, uh, are are faction independent, I believe. Oh God! Oh, shields are down. Hole is taking damage. 
We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. This is supposed to recharge my shields, I thought, but it's not it's really seeing shields, it. But your hole looks a little shaky. There we go. There's the shields coming back. But this isn't doesn't seem to be filling up the oh, meter Oh, it looks like you're faster. getting healed. Like your little guy's giving you some health yeah. once in a while. Still burning. Yeah, that's when that's the thing when I tap up on the D-pad. That's oh. that little little thing there. I should probably read more about that skill and see what it's actually doing. I like that the code that's being uploaded to these things are also seem to be like infecting the pilots. They they have things to say about killing yeah. you. Okay. All right, we need one more. You ready for a pounding? I'm ready. Aha! All right. Easy in, easy out on this stuff too. You know, they just they just spawn the little warp out thing, and you just go. I kind of wonder why they just don't have you jump out, though. Like, like, immediately? Yeah, there must be, like, some stuff that you could do if you... Like, stay in the area. More, or... like, secondary things that are probably cool. Yeah. Like, if you explored a little bit, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Also, my ship's on fire. It's a tough turn. Nice. Well, let's see if it's persistent when you make it. Uh, but it'll just bring you back to base, right? Yeah. Well, to bring back to the area. Oh, I'm coming back to the icy wastes. It's Razor little, sharp little, shards of frozen water. That's a, a little further away from the base than I would have thought. Oh, never mind. Didn't yeah, bring me to the icy still wastes. Burning. So is there a repair cost or something when you show back up, or do you just auto-heal when you end up inside? I probably You probably auto-heal whenever you dock, um, if I had to guess. Maybe I just need a healer uh, sentient. Because that would have different abilities. Oh, right. I flew past the thing. Got to hit A back there. Oh, God, I'm burning. So you see, like, you know, some of this text, like, you almost feel like there should be more lines to some of it and stuff. And it's, I don't know. Um, all right. An inside job. Did you notice any difference with your weapon? Uh, not, not really, no. Yeah. It seems to be a f plenty effective, but it's not necessarily... You buy one of the big ships yet. Hammerhead 2. Yeah, now you can buy a 2, get a 2. Well, it would be higher in those two stats and lower in whatever that stat, stat it's is. It's the firing stat, and it's better in shields and yeah. hull. Don't you want to fly a different ship? I don't know, dude. Heavy defense interceptor made for heavy combat. Maintain travel boost even while firing. Okay, let's buy Hammerhead 2. Yeah, Hammerhead 2. Right. All right. Got our Mark 3. We got Sentient 1. Whip. If you have both of the weapons uh, uh -huh. on it, does it shoot both from the same... Like at the same time, I guess. Yeah. So is that cargo? You think that other that other stat stat there that is uh, twenty higher on these scout ships than it is on the interceptor? Which the, one? The, the the one that says one twenty there. Does that look like maybe no, a cargo icon? No, that looks icon? like missiles. Yeah, I guess Firing so. Firing missiles. Mm. Either way, it is unclear. Yep. Um, we did some mining, so we can sell that stuff. Sell that uh, old gun too. Yeah, who needs it? You can get three thousand credits, man. Oh man, that's that seems like kind of a lot. Yeah, that's a weapon. See. Yeah. Um, and commodities we don't don't currently have any. I guess I didn't mine any. All right. Well. So is it just running missions the whole time, or do you go to a different zone? I think like, I'll event. I have to imagine that eventually it'll say like, "Hey, you need to go to a different zone." Right. Um. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Here we are. I uh, even the little made a different sound kind of. Yeah. Blah blah. blah. Um, so when I hit the back button here, it'll bring up, I can, I can bring up a zone map, but I can also bring up shift, oh, that's just that. So I can kind of fly to some of these zones. Oh, okay, so I can just pop open a, a gate and travel. Let's check it out. That one looked big, look at that shit. Yeah. So 
So I could theoretically just go explore these zones, and maybe there's another town, well, another, another dock. Space town. Yeah, to get missions from. I'm not sure. I would guess that eventually, the, you know, you'll do these guys' starter missions. I was like, you need to go talk to my friend in this other zone. Bring him this package, and then he'll have a bunch of quests for you. Because that's how all these games work, isn't it? You almost said it as if it was Borderlands. Like, that's, <laughs> that voice totally reminded me. Yeehaw! All right. Is that it? That's not a guy. I have a hard time knowing who are dudes. Uh, dudes will have names over them. Okay. So, basically what I'm telling you is we have not encountered any dudes yet. How do you like your ship? How do you like in this new ship? It seems okay. Um, I can it does look like it take up, you know, it takes up more real estate. Yeah. So I'm wondering when you get those big heavies, you know, if it doesn't zoom back more. Right, yeah. So what's here? Okay, this is a place called Beta Station. There's Fort Thorn over there. Let's go to Fort Thorn. Travel. Where uh where like, am I? You're up top. You're up near Beta Station. Okay, I am. I'm gonna see if I can even dock at Beta Station if it'll, All right. if it'll let me. Since we're right here. Creature okay, and Belinda. So they're everywhere, here. so. And they'll give us stuff. It'll take us wherever. Lost he was in the Valhalla region of Asgard. What? It's a weird He's game. With Thor. So to head over to the fort. Yeah, I just kind of want to see what it looks like. Yeah. Fort so Thor. we go down, over, around. Oh. <laughs> down. It is kind of a weird way to render space with yeah, all these walls. Where, yeah, it's like, oh, you're kind of in space, but. <laughs> it seems to hurt your shields when you do that. Yeah, I bet. Oh, no, I don't want to be over you're here. It's still going down. Look yeah, at your map. still going down. I'm too busy looking at the map. These walls are not on my map. I have an out-of-date map. Uh, which way you think? You Up go or down? either way. Either way, it looks like we'll get you there. Shadow Den sounds dangerous. You want to go to Shadow Den? It's it's. Notice that it's not green. Yeah. Try it. Let's see what's up in Shadow Den. Okay. As soon as you open fire, the sentient is there to just blow up every single rock uh, that it sees. So, okay, yeah, there's some, some targets up oh, here. Oh man, you've already lost your shields. No, no, I think the, the that bar. It's not the orange ones. Those those guys. Oh, is that no, just that's energy? energy then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude. Who cares about Shadow Den? Shadow Den ain't nothing. Those yeah. guys are my bros. Wait. Wish they'd kind of help out a little bit then. Maybe they're not my bros. I don't know, there's fighting going on back there. Whoa. I kind of jumped around a little bit. I guess this must be one of the other factions. Yeah. So, like, if you pick one of them. Yeah, I guess theoretically these could be my homies if I if right, I went that well, route. We're, we're getting close to the fort. Yeah. yeah. We're taking the long way, but at least you were able to go in a different zone and could, you know, kind of hold. Yeah. Okay. Those guys are not. All right. They don't shoot back. Fort Thorn. Whoa! Whoa! Mines. All right. They don't blow up when I... It's got to be mines. They're you'll not red, fine. though. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. All right. The fort's to the north, I think. Yeah. Can 
I dock at the fort? Is that possible? Yeah, probably on the other side, though. On that. Oh, on the, that thing. The, the spot over here? Yeah. There's nothing actually here. Oh, right, here we go. In that there. looks like a dock. All right. But I bet it's just going to be. Oh, wow. Okay. So. So you gotta go Since I'm a consortium it. guy, there's nothing here for me. I wonder if I was some other type, if there would be Do you get more any, options. So what's the messages? Is that from like in-game uh, stuff? That's, that's for uh, auction stuff. Mm. So is this maybe where we could get into the, some of the trading stuff or the commodities different here? So I can buy radioactives and medicines here, which were not available anywhere else. Right. So you pick them up and then you... Yeah, you could you could pick stuff up and, and run it somewhere. Was yeah, there. yeah, it's a better ore price. So if you want to go pure trader and, and oh, why is a legion raid uh, legion raid down there glowing? I don't know. Maybe because I, well, I mean, I have two legion raid points, but that's not enough to actually buy anything. Well, you've, you oh, can no, pick do, up yeah. those, yeah. Praetorian auto gun, death bloom man. Oh, death bloom. It's no death blossom, but you know. <laughs> 40. 40, but look at that fire rate. No, oh. I, I don't think this is a good guided missiles. Hmm. Yeah, try it out. Come on. I'll Use try it points. out. I'll try it out. It was easy to get those two points. So we'll, uh, we'll put the auto gun on instead of the rail gun. I get rid of that sending it. All boring. right. Okay. All right. Let's try both. I want to see them shoot some stuff. All right. Let's get out and shoot some stuff. Droppable weapons. You need to drop them. Uh, how? Use your uh, other buttons. No? no? Yeah, you gotta be. It said drop them. Maybe they just auto drop when there are enemies. You think? You'd have to go back up. Were there, back. Yeah, there were dudes up there. Well, back to, you know, whatever that area was that we killed. Oh, uh, in. Shadow. Guts. Shadow, yeah. Shadow guts. Shadow dead. Yeah, hey, you're on your way. Yeah. I think you have to drop it. It said you can do it when they're not around. Yeah, it did. Try, do you have a control scheme or something? Yeah, like I'll try and... Maybe I have to go configure... The ship? No. It's probably just a button. Equipment slot A. Uh, but I might have to assign it up here. Mm. You see where it has use and... The, ah. the X button is yeah, on set, so. Nope. Not an option. Hmm. Move it to that 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 thing again. The fiery thing. Not the fiery though. What's that? That's just use. That's the same as the X button. Oh. Or the the A button is now. Yeah. So I have no new abilities there. But there's, but there's no like actual control screen where you see like, what does what, and options maybe. Drop mine. Right bumper. There we go. All right, now that thing will shoot. Let's go kill some stuff. All right. That's why it shot so fast. Yeah. Oh, I can't drop it. Because you already dropped one. Man, I hope, hope that thing doesn't go away. I hope it like recharges. Wonder if I can go back and pick it up. Yeah, try. Hmm. See if maybe yeah, that might be it. Right up here at the base. He's just chilling, you know, protecting your goods. How'd you do that? I don't know. I think I it must have recharged and I dropped another one on top of that one and it blew, <laughs> and it blew up. That's my guess. Oh, so we gotta wait? I, think I just so. wanna see it shoot. I'm trying to, is, is there, where, there's gotta be a meter for this thing somewhere, right? 
Oh, yeah, it looks like that little guy. Which one? Well, the little the little meter that it's got. Oh no, I mean the the meter to drop another one, like oh. the recharge on firing. Oh, man, I don't I don't think so. Oh, well, that one, if you see the on the left sc- side of the screen, you've got a little, uh, that little mine button, but it doesn't look yeah. like it's charging at all. And, and those, that's typically where the sentient abilities are, yeah. and they're all grayed out right now because we don't have a sentient with us. Well, that was a bad idea. Could you imagine if that was the only weapon that you took with you? That'd be bad. There we go. It's just a recharge. So. All right. Oh, hold there on. There it's shooting. shooting. It shot. All right, we saw it. This thing sucks. <laughs> it does suck. Maybe if you had a bunch of them, you know? Yeah. Maybe that would be better. Or in those missions, it'd probably work pretty well. Yeah, I mean, maybe, you know, like for escort missions or something where you got to hold it down, like having that thing there might be all the extra firepower you need. But, but right now, it sucks. Yeah, right now. When you can't, it totally like, pick sucks. it back up, drop it. I'm not standing still ever. It's not what I'm about. All right, Jeff, is there more? No, that's Fusion Genesis. It's available now. Looks um, looks complicated, but it looks like it could be fun it, if yeah, you figure it I, out. I can't. I, I'm still kind of on the fence about it. Like, there are things I like about it, but it definitely uh, could use, like, some, I don't know, some, some better tutorial stuff at the beginning or... or Something that does a slightly better job of explaining some of the stuff that you're you're getting access to, because um, it, it, it's a it's a little thick up front. And that's how I like it. <laughs> See you, Dave. See you, Jeff.